what's going on youtube welcome back to another video in this video what we're going to go ahead and do is build my favorite voti pure it's going to be a range slash mage hybrid pure i know the volatile is introduced into the game and there's a bunch of range options and mage options for me to have ko potential where i do not need um strength or attack so that's what we're going to currently go ahead and build and we're starting to discount fresh from zero from nothing it's literally one everything it just came out of Tory island i just bought everything to start vampire slayer so that's what we're going to go ahead and do and uh, let's go ahead and start and complete Vampire Slayer, and I'll see you guys when that's done. And that's Cook's Assistant complete. I didn't realize it was going to be that quick, but we're going to go ahead and start Ruin Mysteries and Restless Ghosts and an Imp Catcher all at once. So, yeah, let's not get the free-to-play quest. And there we go. That's Imp Catcher down. I'm terrible at recording, but that was Vampire Slayer down. Now it's time to go ahead and complete Ruin Mysteries, and then we'll move on to the next one. There we go. That's Ruin Mysteries down. And there we go, that's Witch's House down. We got about 6,325 hit points. There we go, that's 21 mage right there. So now we actually have access to low level alchemy. So we can go level alchemy mine runes as requested. And there we go, that is Waterfall Quest finally completed. That gave us 33 attack, 30 strength, and we're still at 25 HP, 23 mage, which is pretty good. So that gave us a good amount of attack and strength XP. So that got us to about 26 combat, which is pretty good for us. So let's see what the next quest is on my list. And that is Fight Arena out the bag. We got about 12,000 attack XP, 2,000 thieving, 1k coins, 2k. So we're about 2k, uh, 2 attack levels away from 40 attack, which is pretty good for us. That's a pretty decent start. We're about an hour and a half into the council. I would say this is a decent enough start for that. What's crazy is we're about to finish Trino and Village, and we already have 38 mage. I can't believe we're already at 38 mage. This account is literally being speed ran in a way that I didn't think was possible by me personally. And there we go. That is tree known village down. That's about 11,450 attack XP, getting us over 41 attack, which now we can actually wield a brine saber, which is pretty good for us to, you know, attack and train with and get a little bit of combat stats going. But I know we're going to avoid most of the combat and, you know, concentrate on range and mage in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the next quest down the list and then see what we got planned for the count on episode two. And that is Dwarf Cannon out the way, 750 crafting XP, that gets us up to 7. That's a pretty decent start for, I think, Sapphires, right? Let me see. Actually, I lied, I'm way far off. So we're, we, we, we're not too close to Sapphires at all, actually. Let's go ahead and start the next quest. And that is Death Plateau out the way. That means we can now wield Climbing Boots, which is pretty good for when we start peaking. We now have a boot slot. I guess, quote-unquote, best in slot for the cheapest boot slot. And that's Restless Ghost out of the way. We got 1125 prayer XP, so that's pretty good. We're at 9 prayer now. We're able to use Mystic Will and Sharp Eye, which is kind of making the account look pretty beefy. We're at about 30 combat, about to be 31. That is Ernest the Chicken completed, 4 quest points, but that is a requirement for Animal Magazine. So we're getting closer and closer to starting that quest outside of the skill requirements. We're going to do all the quests which we need. All we need is Priest and Pearl, so let's go ahead and do that and then go ahead and work on all the skills. And that's the museum kudos completed which gives us nine slayer and nine hunters so we are that much closer to getting uh the animal magnetism requirements complete for the slayers so we're gonna go ahead and try to probably knock that out in the meantime because i need to get away from questing this is kind of like taking up my patience so yeah let's go do some slayers and then we'll probably call it it for the day which has been a successful run um but yeah we'll see let's, let's, let's go do slayers in the meantime and then we'll see how that goes and that's our first task down. Let's go ahead and get another task. That gave us, I think, two Slayer levels and I think two Mage uh, mage levels. Let me see. Yeah, I think it was two Slayer levels and a Mage level. And that's another task down. That was a Rast task. It was a pretty quick one. Let's go get another one. I'm pretty sure this might be the first time anyone's scanning chickens, but I'm just trying to get over these tasks super quickly i'm not looking at how much everything costs i want to build this account as quickly as possible and just to get straight to pk because that's how i make money i don't make money by training i don't make money by sitting around i don't make money by pvming all my money comes yeah, from pk and taking that money from other people so i know that sounds kind of crucial to say but hey that's what the wilderness is for so if you want to step out there that's the risk you're willing to take i mean i'm going to take your money if i see you so uh, no hard feelings. I mean, we all know that's the Wilders. At the end of the day, that's the name of the game, guys. And to wrap that up, that is another Slayer's task complete. Let's go ahead and get the last one so we can start receiving points. Uh, where you at, man? Let's see what we got. We got cave bugs. Cave bugs. I haven't killed these in a minute. 
see i don't even know how to kill them to be honest i don't know where they're at so let me go figure that out real quick so yes i might be a noob because it took me forever to find these cave bugs i was looking online i was looking at the wikipedia i was telling everything was leading to the fact that i have to start the quest and for me to start that quest i have to complete lost tribe and it was just this big domino effect of what i don't want to do and what i don't want to go through right now just to complete a stupid slayer's task but in the long run i mean i found out how to get in here i watched a quick little video by small xp lamp and you know he, he showed me another path on how to get in here which is great and yeah we're gonna go ahead and knock this cave bugs tasks out that is cave bugs finally done i really did not think i was gonna complete this i swear to you guys like i was at a literally a dead stop i just didn't know how to continue i didn't know if i had to do that quest and i really really was not in the mood to do that the lost tribe and uh death to dorgashan i that, that was not going to happen. So I'm glad that, that that video was there and I was able to find another way in. So let's go ahead and go get another task and let's see what we got. For the last and final task for us to, fi oops, for us to finally start receiving points. Um, let's go ahead and get them and I'll see you guys there. That is another task down. We are at 12 Slayers after about 6 tasks. So let's go get another one. Hopefully this one is a little bit better than the last one. And there we go. That is another task down. I think we're actually that much closer. Let's see. We're only 4 levels away from getting the requirements. I think 19 is the required uh, Slayer levels for Adam on Magnetism. So we're going to go ahead and just knock that out in one sitting. For now, let's go ahead and do these uh, monkeys. And yeah, I'll see you guys once we're done with that one. And that's the monkey's task complete. Let's go get another one because that gave us absolutely nothing. I think we gained like 100 XP combined in total out of the whole thing. I don't, yeah, there it is, 108 XP. Uh, yeah, that it was very bad. Let's see what we get now. I hope we get something better. I think those cave crawlers was the best one we've received so far, scorpions. Uh, I think I got an idea. I might go in the wilderness. I'm not too sure. We might just, nah, let's play safe. Let's go to the one in Alcarid. Thankfully, the internet exists, and I am so glad that YouTube is a tool that I can use at any given time because I was at the Alcarid mine, and there was one singular scorpion, and I was not going to wait two minutes per spawn. That would have taken me forever. I just Google scorpion, slayer's task, and it showed me the one next to the Falador drop room. So I'm going to go next to that one and uh, knock out this task as quickly as possible, and hopefully it gets me as close to 19 as possible, if not 19, because I think scorpions might be a good task i'm not too sure at this combat i won't know until we actually get there well we are unlucky because the dwarves do not want us to set up our cannon here so that means we are gonna have to manually kill 32 freaking scorpions this is gonna take forever another task down that is eight tasks in a row 33 scorpions complete for 626 xp we are two levels away i think maybe one if not two more tasks hopefully this one's a decent task if it a ass cheeks task then it's going to take us about two tasks so let's see what this one is hunting ghosts okay so i have i got a ghost task okay. and that is another task complete oops so let's go see what the next task is hopefully it's a little bit better than this one because this was a terrible task but i'm happy that we got through this one let's see what the next one is all right cows cows is actually a pretty decent task to do oops i went to Verox. It is actually a pretty decent task to do because it's very quick. It's easy to save spots, easy to set up the cannon and just sit behind and let it do all the work. Um, let's go ahead and go set that up real quick. Knock this task out. I think, let's see, this actually might get us to the next level and we might actually have to not do Slayers after this for a cool minute. So let's go knock this out real quick. And there we go. That is 19 Slayers in the bag. Finally, we don't have to do Slayers anymore. Let's knock this quick task out and then go on to the next thing. I know, I know, it's unfortunate. Every video has to come to an end, and this is the end to this video. I'm sorry that it has to end this way, but I'm hoping you guys come back to the next video. This video was actually a great one. We did progress a lot, thankfully. Um, there is a lot more progress done to the account because we did play a lot in a singular day. I just had to chop it up into two videos because of the fact that it was all done in a singular day. I didn't know where to end it. I didn't know what would have been my cutting point. But hey, during editing, you're able to find that out and, you know, shoot an outro right after. And it all looks smooth on your guys' end. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, a comment, and a subscription down below. It helps me and it makes me motivated to keep pushing these content out there and producing more and more videos for you guys. I think it's pretty cool because I saw Torvesa do a series on this himself. He built his dream account and did a whole series. That, that was a very successful series. And I think that's a good way for you guys to introduce me into the community. I do have a lot of builds out there. I do 
have a bunch of content I could put out there of those builds. And I'm going to slowly put those out there if I see a little bit of interest in, in these videos and whatnot. But I know that this is going to be a successful account. It's just a matter of if the video itself and the algorithm will pick up the content and put it out there for you guys to see the account itself. But hey, if you guys are part of the journey, I do appreciate every one of you guys and anyone who sticks around through the journey itself. I do appreciate you guys as one. Well. Any, anyone who just stopped by just to see this video, I appreciate you as well. You know, thank you guys for everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.